For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com. All right, guess problem 2.1. If the angle beta is 30 degrees and the force T right here is 6 kN, determ determine the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the eye bolt and its direction measured clockwise from the posterior x axis. All right, this is easy. I think the easiest way to do this is to break down uh, each of the forces given into x and y components and then just add them together. That's just the easy way to understand it. So T will have two forces in the x and in the y. This is T y and this would be T x. And then the 8 kN force will be the same thing. You will have a force on the x kilonewtons on the x and 8 kilonewtons on the y and all you got to do is add them together so tx will be equal to 6 kilonewtons times the cosine of 90 degrees minus 30 degrees ty will be equal to same thing 6 kilonewtons times the sine of 90 degrees minus 30 degrees now the other components of the force on the x are 8 kilonewtons times the cosine of negative 45 degrees and the y component is 8 kilonewtons times the sine of negative 45 degrees Now we take out our calculators and we calculate it. 6 times the cosine of 60 so this one will be 3 kilonewtons 6 times the sine of 60 will give you 5 Point two kilonewtons, eight times the cosine of negative forty five is five point seven kilonewtons, and eight times the sine of negative forty five is negative five point seven kilonewtons. So all you have to do is Add the x's together and the y together. So for the x we got 3 kilonewtons plus 5.7 kilonewtons for a grand total of 8.7 kilonewtons. For the y we got 5.2 kilonewtons. minus 5.7 kilonewtons for a grand total of negative 0.5 kilonewtons so the answer r is equal to 8.7 kilonewtons on the x axis and negative 0.5 kilonewtons on the y. This I want you to give you the answer on vector notation with magnitude and direction. All you gotta do is 
multiply square uh, 8.7 and negative 8.5. I'm going to find the square root that will give you the magnitude, which will be 8.7 square plus 0.5 square. The square root of that would be. Eight point seventy one, and the angle will be the negative tangent of the y component over the x component, which will be point five over eight point seven, negative three point three degrees. Finalize.